setup. But let's go behind the demo and see what's really driving this. You can see a 3D camera image being tracked on screen there. The yellow parts are my body. As I walk closer to the screen, you can see that I'm actually getting the depth for every pixel of motion here. As I raise my hand, we're able to track that hand in free space. We can do it with two hands. You could actually put 10 hands in there and track those. So, but what, what do we do with that? So one of the things we can do is actually guide the mouse. And you could imagine controlling a TV from the couch or any kind of control app. I'm going to launch a little application here by going over the top of it. Now you see that it's kind of getting my body image out of the background. And you're wondering, well, why doesn't it respond to all gestures? Everybody wonders, how can you tell an intentional gesture? So what we suggest is the idea of an engagement gesture. So when I put my hand up in front of here, it'll detect the five fingers. And now I can be led into the center. And we have a little gesture wheel here that lets you launch applications. Now, in a living room environment, this could be your six favorite TV shows. It could be YouTube, Gmail, whatever you like. In this case, we're just going to launch one with a single swipe. And we've got a little avatar control here. So a little cute guy that I can do my leaning around. So I've got head tracking, the uh, center torso, as well as the two hands being tracked. Okay? So what I'll do though now is show you where we really want to go with this. It being, uh, and we'll go back to the desktop with a thumbs down gesture. Okay? So, where this can go in the future, full avatar tracking. So here we have a full skeleton model being tracked in real time with a uh, floating point, but this is on a very meaty machine. What we're really excited about is with AVX, being able to do this kind of thing, motion capture, in the home. Hi, what's up, Danny? What's this look? What, what's we're doing the motion capture demo next, right? What do you guys think? Do I have everything in the right place? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, I don't think we need it. I think we have enough performance on the CPU, so we don't have all these sensors on your body to do it anymore. So I think you understand this gesture. <laughs> Thanks. Poor Adam. So I think, Dottie, we're going to end on a little demo of a game. So this is an off the shelf game. I'm going to use my hand position in order to control this. And as I make it wider, I get higher speed. Okay? And then standard steering control is what we use. So this is an unmodified game, we're just running it directly. I should be able to catch up to these guys pretty quick. Because I just keep the accelerator on all the time. Of course, the most fun in any racing game is to try to destroy the car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so what really makes this now do a bell versus before. You said you walk on this one for 10 years, so yeah. what makes it available now? So the big change is that 3D cameras have now dropped in price hugely. So they were $10,000 two years ago, they're coming out in the $150 price range. The second is of course the increase in speed that we're able to process when we want data with on the new architectures. Okay, thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you.